What's going on everybody and welcome back to the A-Dub channel. If you guys are new here, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel down below for more awesome content like this. In today's episode, we are actually going deer hunting or deer driving, I should say. This is actually the last day of deer season. This was from probably about a week, week and a half ago. And uh, it was the very last day. And usually at the end of season, we do deer drives. And if you guys didn't see it already, I actually did another deer drive video a couple uploads ago, and I was a stander for most of that video. And in this video, I'm actually driving for some of the video. So it's a little bit different. We're switching it up, kind of showing you guys a little bit of both roles that goes into a deer drive. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the show. Up, up, up. Ew. Whoop! Whoop, whoop, whoop! Whoop, 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 whoop! Come on, there! Whoop, 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 whoop! <laughs> Wait a minute! What you want it? <laughs> we gotta put the hat on. Dangerous you sitting out here, no hat. I'm gonna test if you're fat. <laughs> 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 that is awesome. I've never heard that before. <laughs> Let's have to know he's got to put a hat on. He's illegal. He stole my hat. You got to put a uh, vest on. You got a vest? You want me to call the game warden? <laughs> 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 I can't call him that. <laughs> <laughs> Austin, put some orange on, Austin. <laughs> And don't take both of them. Yeah. Gonna, I'm trying to play nice. You got the gopher on. You got a pencil in there. Best plug you can get. <laughs> I had a wad get stuck in my barrel yesterday when I was shooting at a freaking deer. I just failed. I'm going to shoot like a 150 inch deer right now. Which, which way are we spreading? All the way to that tree line. That one? The tree yep. line? Yep, but don't go outside the thicket. Don't go outside the thicket. Because the standards are right there. Oh. I know it's up. They done went down like a pretty good ways. I don't know how far you want them to go down. Yeah, I'll go on the inside of the fence post. Oh yeah, there's trails up in here. Uh. Whoop, 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 whoop. Help. Yep, yep, yep. Help. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on, there. Whoop, 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 whoop. Get on up out of here. Come on, there. Come on. Come on, there! Come on! Look at that. Finally got a rub. Oh, there's another rub. Apparently, that's where the bucks are. Woo! -hoo! All right, I think we're going to shoot one now, boys. We're in some cedars, and I'm seeing some rubs, which is a good thing. Thing is thick as balls in here. How much farther we got in this thing? Come on, there!
Yeah. Try and find my way out. Oh yeah, the deer showed his antler right up in my nuts. <laughs> also, just to add this in there so everybody's not confused, I actually ripped my pants on the drive. That's why I said that an antler like hit me in my nuts. It actually just got ripped on like a log or briars or something, but yeah, it uh, it got ripped pretty good, pretty good. I ain't never doing that again, ever. Deer hunting ain't worth it to me. Nope. That's thick. Like I'm talking about. You could jump on it and you wouldn't even hit the ground. You wouldn't even hit the ground, I promise you. I had a crawl. Uh, somebody took my order. Okay. I don't know, somebody did. Austin did, I think. We're going to that grill. All right, cool. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of explaining. I know it's kind of been like a little bit all over the place as far as this video goes. So basically at this point, we go ahead and we go get lunch. We stopped at this grill and uh, we actually got done with drive number two and drive number two was a huge thicket. I'm talking about the briars were like up here. It was like insanely thick and uh, they sent all of us young guys in there and all the older guys, or most of them stayed on the outside, which is fine, you know, we're the young guys, we got invited to go, so we were driving that, but I'm telling you right now, I will never drive that again. That was the thickest stuff I've ever been in. I actually had cuts all over my hands, all over my face, I like, I cut my lip, my nose. It was absolutely crazy, and they usually bump out like five to six deer out of that one spot, and they even bumped out like three coyotes last time, and uh, this time, not a single thing came out except for a rabbit. So uh, it was it was definitely not worth it this time, but uh, you never really know where there's deer gonna be. They weren't in that spot, but uh, we at least gave it a shot. So like I said, we grabbed lunch and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and continue on with the rest of the drives. There's a deer back there when we walked in. Yeah, I heard one buck ran out. Right. Was it a buck? Right Who said it was a buck? I don't know. I just seen him. I just seen the butt of it. <laughs> and that is a wrap for the day um we actually did not shoot a deer at all on this deer drive and we actually saw one deer i actually did lay eyes on it um but we only saw it running away somebody said they thought it was a buck but we honestly have no idea. It was actually really weird because the farms that we were actually driving are supposed to be extremely good. And they actually drove them, I think a week and a half or two weeks before we did. And they did really well then. And usually that's what they do every year. They'll drive it like early and then they'll do it the last day. And then usually they kill deer on both times. But for some reason this time, we just didn't put any deer down. Didn't even see any deer. So it was really weird. The deer just moved places for some reason. Um, that or either they slipped through us, but I just don't really think they slipped through us. But uh, it was definitely interesting. I've actually never really driven much, so it was it was pretty cool. I know a lot of people actually drive and don't say much. Um, they're actually kind of quiet, kind of like aggressively still hunting. But the way that these guys do it, who I was with, they like to go make some noise and yell and kind of stir those deer up and push them to those standers. So that's the way we did it. I hate that we didn't see any deer, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I had to play this footage because going through that thicket was the worst thing that I've ever done while I was hunting. And uh, I just kind of had to show you guys a little bit of a uh, little snippet of what that thicket was like that we were walking through. It was, it was absolutely crazy, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. No, it was a little bit crazy and all over the place, but hey, it was, uh, it's, that's, that's the day in the life of hunting. That's why they call it hunting and not killing. So, uh, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel down below. We've got some really big plans coming soon as far as fishing goes. So, you guys need to go ahead and stay tuned for that. Uh, we will catch you guys in the next episode. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Same. So, yeah, Adam and his natural habitat. Adam and his natural habitat on the phone. Not hunting. Never hunting. We're Hashtag... Gonna... YouTube life. We're going to give him a good old grunt call, boys. <laughs>
Good old Grok. Meh. 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 Hard buck to call, boys. Mm. He may be trying to rut. I don't know. Oh, oh, he's looking, he's looking, he's looking. Oh, I can't even keep the camera on, he's moving so fast. <laughs>